Hello there everyone, this is Two Word Tutorials and this is the first video to my channel. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it and enjoy all my other upcoming content that will be posted on this channel. And uh, please subscribe to the channel, I will very much appreciate it and leave me your ratings on the videos, your comments and as always click that like button, it helps me out a lot. I just hope you guys really, you know, enjoy my content and any other things that I will do. So, um, thank you guys for checking out my channel, and if you subscribe, thank you, and have a nice day. Hello again, everyone. This is Tuber Tutorials, and um, this is my first video, like I said in my brief intro, and let's get started. So in this video I will be showing you um, a very simple Photoshop um, tutorial effect on how to make uh, an image stand out, like how to make the image stand out from the background which simply means that you blur the background so that the image will stand out in the foreground. To show you what I mean I will go ahead and show you the image that we will be doing. So. This image right here is, is, is the one that's not been blurred. It's just a regular image. As you can see, everything is just everything stands out. The background and the the figure, the female, everything stands out. And when you um, blur the background, you get an effect like this, which is this one, the one to your left. As you can see, the background is slightly blurred out, and you can see the the female is um, standing out more and you can see the background is darker so you can get that more pop out um, effect so that's the effect we're going to create today and it's very simple very easy you will learn it just like that so let's get started so I already have the image open up in Photoshop and what you need to do your layer will be closed so just double click on it and it will open the layer this image is from um, DeviantArt I will post the image in the description if you want to use the image that I use but you can use this with any other image um, any like snapshots you take with your friends and you want to do this effect it works on every and anything alright so let's get started um, the first thing we need to do is to select our um, lasso tool I just zoomed in right there on the PC on um, control and plus you zoom in and we're gonna select our lasso tool and the lasso tool is like a free form selection tool so it's not going to be perfect and it's not meant to be perfect but what you want to do is um, select the outer edges of the figure like I'm doing right now make sure you get it as close as possible to the, the outline of the body of the person and not get too much of the background with it because you're trying to blur the background you want to get less background in the selection like I said it's not going to be perfect and it will never be perfect because the lasso tool like I said is like a freeform tool so unless you have like a, a tablet or art pad then that's the only way you get it as perfect as possible so like I'm doing I'm sticking as close as I can to the edge of the figure of the person so that I can get that, so I can get the background out more. Um, this step shouldn't take that long because, like I said, it's it's the lasso tool. The lasso tool is not a tool that's time-consuming like the the magnetic lasso tool. Um, right. And if you make a mistake, just don't worry about it. You can always um, deselect everything and go over it again. So we're almost there, we're going to go to the shoulders, make sure you get everything as close as possible, alright, and we're almost done there, as you can see I got a little bit of, of, the, of the, um, the air inside, so like I said it's not going to be perfect, but you'll get the effect, alright, so once you're done, everything will be selected and all you have to do is right click on the image that you selected and click on select inverse what this what this does is select 
all the other um, image that you didn't lasso which is the background so let's zoom out control minus and all we do to get the effect is go to filter blur and we're going to use Gaussian blur and at this point you can set it to any amount you want if you want it to be blurred out completely you can up the blur like that but I don't recommend that you do it so much I recommend you stick between 1 1 1.3 to 2 so we're going to stick at 1.3 or 1.4, 1.3, 1.4 will do good with this image. You can do more if you want. It all depends on how much you want the image to stand out. So 1.4 is good. So we go ahead and select OK. And then what we want to do now is to make the background darker to let the image stand out more. As you can see in this one, the background is darkened, so you can see the, the person more. So what we're going to do is keep that background lit, that background image selected and we're going to go to um, image, adjustments, brightness and contrast and we want to set the brightness to a negative 27 or 26 and up the contrast to about 32. As you can see we lower the brightness and give it a more darker feeling. Go ahead and stick OK. And next thing we need to do is add some levels so image adjustment and levels this just give the different colors a more darker um, color to it so we're going to go ahead and select the, the black one and bring that up to about 13 or 14 and we're going to select the, um, the gray one and bring that to about um, about here is good about one one oh or somewhere around there is good all right so that's good go ahead and select ok and uh what you can do we can add a curve to it so image adjustments and go to curves this will um like give it a more denser feeling and we're gonna do that all i did was make an, a simple s shape and we're gonna go to channel and go to blue and we're going to do the opposite S shape as you can see it give it a more blander effect kind of like a Lomo effect and hit OK and that's it you select Control D to deselect and there you go that's your final result as you can see the image stands out more the background is blurred out it's darkened and now you can see the figure as it just stands out so um, that's it guys, that's how you create a simple standout image effect and go ahead and try it, it's very simple uh, and it works with every image, everything that, any image you think of it works with, so thanks for watching, I hope this helps and I'll see you guys next time, have a nice day.